Welcome back. It's time for a developing story. Jenny Horn joins us with the latest on United Airlines. Jenny, travel stocks in general having a, a good day today, but United Airlines specifically up more than 4% right now. Tell us what's behind this move higher. Yeah, Caroline, this is a really fascinating story because you would never suspect United to be a player in the advertising space that's been a very, very competitive and, and sort of been taking a hit this year, that being the advertising space. But this is a really interesting report we got from the Wall Street Journal that said that United is considering using its passenger information to help brands serve targeted ads to its customers. So some of these targeted ads could appear on their in-flight entertainment as well as their app or via email. Now, United has not made a final decision on this yet. I just want to make that very clear. But authorizing these per personalized advertisings would greatly expand its advertising business, as right now it doesn't really have a huge presence in the advertising world. They are the largest U.S. airline with 148 million passengers flown last year. So if they do decide to leverage this passenger inf inf information, it would be possible for an advertiser like a major entertainment company to come in and recommend movies who United knows based on their vacation habits and their overall, you know, just visitations and mileage, then they can recommend various entertainment and sort of work hand in hand, which is fascinating because I do think that these airlines probably do already have a lot of our data. And that's what I do think is so significant here. We've seen restrictions hit this advertising market pretty substantially, but companies that already have exposure to a large amount of their consumers' data like say Uber, for example, the various food delivery services, or even Walmart, have somewhat of a leg up just given the fact they already know a lot about their customers. United is also seen as one of those players. So an unsuspecting name that could benefit from the retail media advertising business, which is projected to be around $46 billion as far as US marketers are estimating here. And they're not the only player that's entering a more non-traditional space. Marriott last year launched a similar program where they're targeting their customers based on their travel habits and then entertainment is matching as such. So it is interesting to see now United just you know entering the ad space, targeting ads. This is still not confirmed, but Wall Street Journal is reporting this. And I will say with the airlines moves higher today, like you mentioned, I think a lot of that could be attributed to the fact that OPEC Plus did push back its meeting only by about four days. We are seeing oil sink as a result and the airlines just surge. And of course, Thanksgiving is expected to be one of the busiest holiday travel seasons really of the year and expected to be actually the busiest across all Thanksgiving. So we're expecting to gear up and these airlines have to perform clearly because it's been a little bit hit or miss when it comes to some of these really peak travel periods. Yeah, I mean, I'm just taking a look. American Airlines also up 4%, likely probably not on that news about uh, United possibly using our customer data. But I'm thinking about how that would actually work as a United flyer. So I'll have to stare at a bunch of ads on the screen. But to me, I think it would only work if they gave you free Internet and then you could just click and buy whatever they're advertising. And, uh, you know, you can't do that if you if you don't pay for Internet like me. So, See, now I we're know, talking. <laughs> I, I could get on board with the free Internet and then take all my data. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I think we're on the same page there. All right, Jenny Horn, thanks so much for that update. Thanks, Caroline.